Previously on The Bill. The only news I want to hear about that pervert brother of mine is that he's dead. No, no, not now, not now. Brendan, open your eyes, Brendan. Look at me, Brendan. Dean, yeah, it was um, a dark blue BMW. Uh, the index number was Victor 308 Delta Charlie Yankee, uh, heading west on Hilton Road. Uh, one occupant armed with a handgun. Oi! I said, wait there for me! Dean, this victim is deteriorating fast. You are going to have to check where the ambulance is for me, please. Hello? Excuse me, I'm a police officer, my name's PC Pine, I need your help. Really? Yeah, there's been an accident, two men have been injured, I need help till an ambulance gets here. Okay, but I... Uh, uh, oh my God, is he... <laughs> right, now listen, I want you to go and wait with that man over there. An ambulance is on its way, try not to let him move. Can you do that for me? Good. Brendan, it's Nick. Can you hear me, Brendan? I want you to get down to Jamaica Wharf. There's been a shooting. Nick's already down there, he's a witness. I'll be down later. Go. No, 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 don't, don't let him drink that, please. Uh, keep talking if you can, Brendan. But if you can stay conscious, did you know him? Did you recognise the man who shot you? <laughs> right. I'll tell you what we're going to do, mate. One squeeze for yes and two squeezes for no. Do you understand me? That's it, Brendan. Good man. Did you know who shot you? Yes. Brendan! Brendan, wake up! Brendan, stay with me, Brendan. Open your eyes. Stay with me, Brendan. Wake up! OK, let's get up. Pack it up. OK! Hey, what are you doing, you? Pack it up, oi! Drop it. Drop it! Get on a... All right! All right! I was going to drop it! Not quick enough! Easy! You'll know better next time, OK? Kerry, cuff it. Did you uh, see the car? It, it, it was a dark blue BMW where we would have gone right past you. Going fast, yeah. Did you see the driver? Definitely. Good. And uh, thank you for your... Sarge, uh, Brendan Bailey served 14 years for murder. He's been shot twice. I, I, I've got to look at the guy who did it. Uh, the, sorry, these two are witnesses as well. OK. He, he's been trying to... Say something. Tell me who shot him. I'd like to go with you if you can. Oh, go on in. The DCI's on his way. I'll take it for me. I didn't start it. I was defending myself. Sure. And the chair leg just fell into your hand from the sky, did it? Tony! Hello. What's your name? It's all right. You're safe now. Come on. You were saying? Name. Said something. Sounded like Russian, maybe. Are you Russian? Can you understand anything I'm saying? Got to speak louder, love. Then he'll get it. Isn't that right, Sonny? Comprende the English? Shut him up. Shut up. Can't you see he's scared? Oh. Can you empty your pockets, Tony? Pockets? On there? Anything else? Oh, this looks interesting. Polly. Sarge? I think we can manage. So I'm just having a look, see if I can help. Czech Republic. I went there on holiday a couple of years ago. A place called Liberec. It's not your job to be here. And if I wanted your help, I'd have asked for it. Right. I see. Do <laughs> <laughs> you fancy a drink after shit? Oh, yes. Andrea? Yeah, I can't be here. <gasps> hey, guys. The shooting at Jamaica Wharf. Apparently there was an off-duty policeman there. Yeah, it was Nick. Was he OK? Well, he is, but the other guy isn't. He pegged it in the ambulance. Oh, Nick. Mm. Um... Yeah, yeah, I'm out of here. Now, listen, I've got something for you. What? But I'd, you'll have to wait for the end of the shift again. Well, I've got to get... It'll be worth it. I promise. <laughs> so what happened? I don't know. Who started the fight? What fight? Mr Morrison, we've seen your form, all right? ABH, aggravated burglary... Yeah? So? 
You want to add criminal damage to that, do you? That's my local. Do you really think I'd smash up my own local? And the little boy under the table, have you seen him before? No. I know where I'd send him, no. Back home. You from the Czech Republic? My name is Ramani. That is Tony. What is your name? Hmm? Ramani. Um. Do you have a a number for the telephone? A number to to ring your family, your friends. Do you do you understand a little bit of English? Can you tell me what you were doing with this? How long is the interpreter going to be? Can I leave the next to Kenston up here? Yeah, sure. Uh, right, in case you haven't heard already, Brendan Bailey was shot in front of Nick earlier this evening and taken to St Hughes, where he's just been pronounced dead. Now, it looks like Bailey was following Nick to Jamaica Wharf, where the gunman took advantage of the isolated spot to make his move. I'm sorry, Nick, I know it's been a difficult time for you. This is D.I. Madden from MIT. He's going to be leading the investigation. Thank you. Now, I understand that some of you have been dealing with Brendan Bailey, and I've been informed that... Uh... Someone tried to shoot him earlier today? Ryan Moore, sir. We've uh, got him in a cell downstairs. He believes Bailey was responsible for the death of his daughter, Kelly. She went missing 15 years ago. Right. Well, obviously, I'll need to know all about that. Your DCI has been kind enough to attach a number of you to this inquiry to follow the contacts and lines that you've already been involved with, but on the strict understanding that you keep me informed at every stage. And with Ryan in custody, we need to look at who else had a vested interest in seeing Bailey dead. I thought if we were to hang around the Lord Banbury, maybe someone might turn up looking for him. Yeah, it's worth a try. I'll find an interpreter. Polly, I think this young man might be very hungry. Could you find him something to eat? Oh, sorry, Sarge. I don't want people around here thinking I'm trying to act like a police officer when clearly I'm not. I'm only joking. We'll find something. Thanks, Polly. Well, if he is here illegally, he's not going to want to say, is he? Well, he's got to say something sooner or later. Uh, excuse me! Stop! Please! Go on! After him! Why don't you go after him? Hey! Well, that's what he said. I mean, we wouldn't have caught him in a million years, but at least I'm honest about it. <laughs> Built for recreation, not speed. Do you know if Polly Page is still here? Uh, yeah, yeah, I think she is. All right, cheers. Oh, he's a journal. <laughs> See, I said I had a surprise. So I thought we'd travel home in style. <laughs> thought it would blow you away. I've never been in one of these before. Well, now's your chance. I mean, there's room for all of us. Oh, no, I think... Well, that's... Cool. I mean, this is just to go home in, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Well, we can drop you all off. You sure? <laughs> <laughs> Frank. I was just passing. I don't know, wondered if you fancied a bite to eat or a drink, maybe. Thanks, but no thanks. I'm not really good company at the moment. Oh, I don't know about that. I do. About that? Look, if you're after a story, I'm the last person you should be talking to. It's got a fridge and everything. Ooh. And some champagne. Yeah. And some flowers. Oh, look, I think... Oh, yeah. Do you know what? We can walk. No, you know what? It's fine. Just stay. There's so much room. Let's just all enjoy it. Yeah, that's all right, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Well, I think it's up for you. There you go. There's a card in there as well. Oh, great. Well, I'll pick it later. OK. Um, I mean, it's not much. It's just uh, an invitation to a five-star weekend away. Oh. All right.
Oh yeah, sorry to hear about your mate Brendan. He's not my mate. Oh well, no great loss. Oh come on. It's no big deal, the guy was a murderer. What? The man was shot right in front of me. He bled all over the pavement and he died trying to tell me you shot him. Of course. I forgot the sort of low-life company you like to keep. Yeah, well, compared to you, any time, mate. So why didn't the uh, gunman shoot you? <laughs> no, I'm being serious. Because he wasn't interested in me, was he? He will be now. You're a witness, you can identify him. The uh, car came from round the corner here and uh, hit the, the homeless guy at the end of the car there. The, uh, the gunman got out of his car here. He walked straight up to Brendan and he shot him twice. One and then two. And where were you exactly? I was uh, just stood this side of the car, sir, on the pavement round about here. And the homeless guy? Uh, sir, can I use you for a second, please? Uh, Homeless guy was, was roughly here, but he was on the ground. I managed to, to drag him back from there to about here, but I had to put my hand over his mouth to, to stop him from making a noise, sir. Okay. Right, what then? Then the, uh, the gunman walked towards us pretty much on this line. Um, well, he couldn't see the, the homeless guy, so uh, he got in the car and drove off, cool as you like. Pro. Certainly near enough to torture a car. Was there anything in it? And the other witness? Michelle, yeah, she was uh, she was stood just over there, um, but uh, sh she didn't see the shooting. But she said she got a good look at the driver as he went past. You're right. So I think so. What is it? It was dark, and the car was going very fast. Well, you tell my officer that you had a clear view of the man. Well, I thought I did, but I was wrong. Mrs. Atkins, has anybody other than the police officer been in touch about this incident? No. Are you sure? Yes. Well, if anything comes back to you, get in touch with us immediately. So what do you reckon? Well, obviously somebody's got to her. Oh. Well, it was either the hitman. Oh, whoever was his lookout, clocked her. The homeless guy has gone too. Checked out of St. Hughes. That just leaves Nick Klein. Listen, I'm sorry about last night. You know, with a limo. We didn't mean to cramp your style. Nah, it didn't matter. I bet Kerry was chuffed to bits. Yeah, she was. I've never done this before. You know, break the news to anyone. Doesn't make any difference. Never gets any easier. After what he did to that girl, as far as I'm concerned, to me he's been dead since then. Oh, I'm sorry. There's no need to be. Can you think of anyone that might have done this to your brother? <sighs> How big a list do you want? No. No one who'd actually do it. Okay, thank you. The officer investigating your brother's death is D.I. Stephen Madden. There is one other thing. We will need a formal identification if... Uh... <laughs> Hopefully we'll have a bit more luck today. Could you find out, please, what his name is? Tak mladý muž, jak se jmenuješ? No tak dělej. Čím dřív nám to řekneš, dřív půjdeme všichni domů. Je ta hodná paní, ta blondýna, kterou jsme byli včera. He wants to know where is the blonde lady, the one who we met yesterday. Já jsem měl jenom s ní. He only wants to speak to her. After he's spoken to us, tell him. Až po rozhovoru s námi. 
sorry, but you can't speak to her. Don't worry, you were great. Hi, oh, Andrea. You're with me now, I'm afraid. Come on, it's not that bad, is it? Uh, breaking news to next of kin. Oh. Uh, Cameron, Sergeant Murphy. Having a whip round, housewarming present? You know, uh, cheer up a bit after splitting everything. Of course. You don't think it was a bit overblown? What? The limo? Well, no, I thought it was romantic. Yeah. Yeah, I just. Sometimes I think Cameron's a bit too nice, you know? No. What, you'd rather a Gabriel or a Smithy or wham bam, thank you, ma'am? So you think just Cameron's either just too good to be true or or he has to be gay? No. Going out of a pretty blonde woman like you could all just be a cover, you know. <laughs> Ten ways to work out whether he's gay or not. One, he knows all the words to YMCA. Two, when you go to the hotel, his wash bag's bigger than yours. Three. What's that? Moron? You hurt or injured in any way? I'm going to be late now. Can't we sort this later when I've delivered these? Afraid not. Out you get. What's your name, sir? James Simeon. Can you tell me how you failed to notice not only a stop sign, but our parked car in front of it? Oh, come on. There's no damage. And it's not even your car. Have you been drinking? I think I smell alcohol. I have not a drop. Well, I'm afraid I'm going to have to breathalyze you, sir. I've got things to do. Customers waiting. People to cheer up. Is there a kit in the car? No. We're going to have to send for another unit anyway. Sierra Oscar from 202. Any units near Stambeck Avenue? How did he get here? Yeah, it's the same door still. Like a drag them. Train, ferry. Where are you staying? Who with? With the Taddy Bidlish. The scheme. Okay, so you came by train. Where's your passport? He understands, doesn't he? Can you speak English? Yeah, I'm Drashko. Well, it wasn't me, Swedes. You can understand a little. What about your family and friends? They must be worried sick about you. What's the matter? You must have known the name of the man where. He doesn't know the name of the place where he stayed. Do you think you might recognise it if we drove around? Yes. Any luck? No. Nick, you're supposed to be with MIT. Sorry, sir, I was just seeing if I could spot the gunman. Come on. Sir. You dealt with Brennan's girlfriend yesterday, didn't you, Sarah? Yes, Gov. Can you and Phil have another word with her and then report back to D.I. Madden? Sure. Nine? Cameron likes the sheets more than he likes getting in between them. He hasn't so far. Right, now, don't touch the machine. I want you to blow into that tube. One continuous breath and keep blowing until I tell you to stop, OK? Eleven. On the dance floor, he's the one voguing around his handbag. Yvonne, I think this joke is wearing a bit thin, don't you? Keep blowing, keep blowing. Oh. OK, sir. Okay. As you can see, sir, it's positive. There's no sign of the homeless guy. He didn't give you his name or anything? No. And the second witness, Michelle, you sure she got a good look at the gun? Yeah, but well, that's what she told me. And she's now saying she didn't. And she sounded uh, frightened. Has anyone approached you? No. No. <laughs> Last night, you'd gone for a walk down by the river. Is that your normal way home? No. And Brendan just suddenly appeared out of the blue? Yes. Well, how did he know where to find you? I don't know. Any idea? 
Or well, perhaps he uh, followed me from work. I... All that way, and you didn't notice. And he didn't say anything till he got to the river. Had you arranged to meet him there? No. What did he want to see you about? I'm sorry, sir, but I feel like I'm being interviewed here as a suspect and not as a witness. Nick, all I asked is what did Brendan want to see you about? And what are you suggesting? That I had something to do with this? Well, you've got to admit. It's all a bit odd. But why would I want to have anything to do with a known murderer? I'm... You're questioning my integrity. No. Well, what I'm trying to do is establish what happened. Hi, Sarah. This is D.S. Hunter from Sun Hill. Do you mind if we come in? Sorry, not now. Please. I take it you've heard about Brendan. You mind if I ask who told you? Told me? Well, he was dead. Um, I don't know. <laughs> you don't know? Somebody tells you that your boyfriend's been shot dead and you don't remember? Mark. Mark, your brother. How did he know? Um, he... Look, I don't know. <laughs> Can we come in? Yvonne and Kerry are still with the traffic sergeant. Might be an idea to let Andrew help me process this one, Tony. Help her learn the ropes? Sure. Are you all right, Sarge? If there's anything I can do, moving home is stressful enough for anyone. It's going to be even harder for you, isn't it? Leaving Patrick. Thanks, Tony. Just trying to see it as a fresh start. Polly! Right, Ty. You look busy? Yeah, it's okay. I'm only the chaperone. I swear I didn't know Brendan had killed anyone. And how did you feel when you found out? How do you think? Were you gonna run away with him? Yes. To Marbella. Well, where then? Asia, Malaysia, the Philippines. How are you going to manage that? I don't know. You're not exactly being helpful here, Sarah. Brendan was a murderer out on license. He couldn't leave the country. Where was he going to get the money from? Unless, of course, there never was a plan. Apart from dig a big hole and stuff you in it. No! Well, that's what he did to his last girlfriend. Sarge. PC Taverner. I heard that. Well, at least it wasn't your fault, Sarge. No matter what he did, this was no place, no way for anyone to die. So, are you okay? No. Not really. On top of all of this, my husband and I have decided to go our separate ways. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. You didn't see anyone else? No. See anyone hanging around, following Brendan when he approached you? No. No. When you saw the gunman, why didn't you announce who you were? Perhaps if the gunman knew there were other witnesses present, including a police officer... Then perhaps he'd have shot us all and I wouldn't be here to tell you about it, would I? I was off duty. I wasn't in uniform. The man was armed with a gun. What sort of gun? A handgun. I couldn't see more than that. Remind me again how you were protecting this other witness. Right. I, um, I, I pulled him to safety. I had to keep my hand over his mouth so he didn't make a sound, the slightest noise, well, it would have compromised that position, wouldn't it? And from what you showed me at the scene earlier, it appeared that this guy was between you and the gunman. What are you driving at? Nick, well, I'm not driving at anything. Yeah, well, it sounds like it to me. No, what I'm coming to is that just because you might not have been visible at that point, it doesn't mean you weren't seen. I know that. Good. Because it's looking increasingly obvious that whoever's behind this shooting knows exactly who was there and has been able to get to them. Well, everyone except you.
This one? Well done. Okay, so he wasn't going to hurt you, he was taking you away. How was he going to pay for that? Where was he getting the money from? He said... He said someone owed him. Who? Sarah? <laughs> Sarge. Sarge. Is this your room? Here. Is there anybody else staying with you? Honza? Two brother. Have you seen them today? Thank you. <coughs> right. We'll start with the passport, shall we? Look, um, I need to get some air. All right, I'll meet you back at the station. OK. I don't understand. You've come over here on holiday. Polly, we're going to need the interpreter back. Sarge, so, look. Who's this? I'm not sure, but I think he was arrested last night in the same pub Honza was found. I think I might know someone who could tell us more. How do you know Weaver? Who? Dennis Weaver. And don't mess me about. I'm not. Then how comes you got a picture of, of his daughter? <laughs> For heaven's sake. Just dry your eyes. <laughs> He's... He... My godfather. What? Dennis Weaver is your godfather? Yes! When was the last time you saw her? Who? Madison, his little girl. What's this got to do with Madison? I'm asking you, when was the last time you saw her? I haven't seen them since the bus stop. What, when Christine left? Yeah. Where'd they go? I don't know. All right, when was the last time you saw Dennis? This week? Last week? I don't know! This week! Did he ever meet Brendan? <laughs> yeah. Of course, cool. Brendan worked for him, didn't he? He worked for him? Yeah. Doing? Nothing. Nothing? He just did the books for him, that's all. He wasn't trying to rip Weaver off, was he? You said Brendan was owed by someone, was that Weaver? He wasn't trying to get one over on Weaver so that he could finance your little escape plan, was he? Well? I'm afraid that reading shows between 40 and 50 micrograms of alcohol per 100 millilitres of breath. We will now require a blood sample. Well, that is too bad. I'm sorry? You're not having Ayman blood. Why not? Ja Rastafari, the Lion of Judah, and Ja is I God, and it's against Ayman fate to give away any part of I. That is not a medical reason, unless you have a medical reason. I don't need a medical reason. So you're refusing to give a blood sample? Were you deaf? I just told you. And my understanding of your faith is that alcohol is considered unnatural and therefore not to be consumed. Is that right? No respect, woman. Cuts both ways, don't you think? Thanks for coming down, Frank. That's OK. I was local. It's just I found this picture in your paper and wondered if you could help us out. Is this personal or a policeman? Well, it's a bit of both, really. It's not official, but one of the sergeants here has been kind enough to let me help out on a small case. Nothing special, but it means a lot to me. I just want the chance to show some people around here I'm not completely useless. Of course you're not. Do you know him? Yeah, yeah, but I can't remember his name. There were, there were several of them. Yeah? Yeah, football hooligans. We run a name and shame campaign. Yeah? So, uh, is that it? Or well, didn't England play the Czech Republic in a friendly? Yeah. Was there any trouble after that game? Not that I know of. Thanks. That's brilliant. Yeah? Yeah. Terry. Do you think Brendan was going to kill Sarah? Well, if he hadn't bought the tickets to take her away, I would have said yeah, but he did, so... 
How's it going with MIT? They might as well have accused me of luring Brendan out in the open. What do they think? I, I stood by and watched while he shot him? Have a look at these. What for? Just do it. This is him. This is the guy that shot Brendan. Which one? Him. John Finnegan. How did you find him? I'm a detective, that's why I do. Are you sure? Yeah, he's a known associate of Dennis Weaver's. So what would Weaver be doing with Brendan? I don't know, Gov, but Brendan worked as a bookkeeper for Lindsay's Limos. That was owned by Dennis Weaver. In fact, he kept the books for a host of Weaver's businesses. Go on. Well, Brendan needed money to get away. Now, my guess is that he's been cooking up the books and Weaver found out. It's either that, or he knew too much and he was stupid enough to threaten Weaver with it. Well, it must have been something serious for Weaver to take a hit out on him. All right, hand this over to MIT. Go. Did you come looking for this man and his friends? Že přijeli jste sem hledat na toho pána a jeho přátelé. Where are your brothers now? A kde jsou tvoji bratři teď? Did they cause the trouble at the pub? Tony spoustobili ty potřeže v hospodě. Are they still looking for this man, Nigel? On je ještě hledají na Nigela, že jo. Do they know his address? Znají oni jeho adresu. A to je tak chcípl. Take that as a yes. What's this about Weaver? Brendan works for him. What? Yeah, and Sarah's his goddaughter. How did you find this out? She told me. It's strange how Weaver always seems to crawl out the woodwork. Nick, sir. Yeah, I'm Adam. Sounds like you requested to go home. Now, I'd prefer it if you stayed outside the borough. It'd be safer all around. I'll be fine. If I see anything suspicious, I'll call it in. OK. Well, I'll get a patrol car to take you home. Uh, thanks, uh, but I've, I've got my own car, so... Um, I won't be leaned on by anyone. James Simeon. Having been required to provide a specimen for analysis pursuant to Section 7 of the Road Traffic Act 1988, you failed without reasonable excuse to do so. And you wonder why most of us believe no black man can ever receive justice in any white man's country. Holly and Yvonne, you wait with Hunter at the BNB. Uh, Tony and Gabriel, we need to find Nigel Morrison before Hunter's brothers do. Very civil, is it? Get stuffed. <laughs> you going somewhere? None of your business. Do you know John Finnegan? Never heard of him. Never even seen him. So he's a friend of Weaver's. So. Brendan went to Weaver hoping to get some money, blackmail him. He must have had some good information. You know, files, records, scams on Weaver. Now what is it? Look, just lost. Do you want to know who killed your precious boyfriend? He did. Do you want to know why? Because your godfather told him to. What? So you better start telling me everything. Right, you just stay there and don't move. Yes, Hunter. Well, now, this is a surprise. Yeah? Diaz de Costa, PC Kent, PC Stamp, Sunhill. What is it this time? I'm getting bored of all this. Run along, Sam. Stay down. You heard what I said. Leave that. You got two minutes. Madison's looking cute. Your daughter. You seen much of her lately? No, I don't suppose you have. Christine sends her love. Such. 
Wow, this is uh, interesting reading material. I got given them in the street. Really? Um, do you have any links to any football supporters' websites, Mr. Morrison? No. Sure? Yeah. Have you heard of uh, Gustav Sobek? No. He's from the Czech Republic. Or was. He died of a heart attack shortly after the game against England. Oh, dear. A number of jokes were made at his expense on a fan site. Do you know anything about that? <laughs> no. Mr. Sobek's sons have taken offence, and we suspect that they may have come over to seek some kind of retribution. I'd like to see him try. Bring them on! We don't have to. They're already here. You have Brendan shot. I don't know what you're talking about. What is it? What did Brendan know? Was he trying to blackmail you? He wanted a payoff, but you tried to ward him off with a beating. He wouldn't listen, so he sent in a professional to finish off the job. Really? I'm going to hang you out to dry. We've got several witnesses who saw Finnegan shoot Brendan. No, you don't. You've only got one witness. Yeah, if you say so. PC Nicholas Klein. Nigel Morrison again, Sarge. We've never seen anyone get in a police car so fast. As soon as you heard about the checks. You can stay here until we can organise for your friends or your family to come and pick you up. Yeah, but how long Mr. do you Sobic's think... Mr. sons could be the first of many. In the meantime, we found these. Calls herself Maddie now. Your daughter. Sweet irony, isn't it? You. Once the great stud. Now firing blanks. Oh, believe me, Philip. I'll make it my business to know everything. Must make Maddie all the more precious. Since you can't have any more. Be dreadful if something happened to her. We need to make sure Klein says he was looking the other way. It's too late. Is it? How do I know you're not going to threaten my kid every time you get into trouble? You don't. Oh, I know it's not ideal, Philip. But I'm going to have to trust you. And you are going to have to trust me. I've told you, it's too late. He's already picked your man out. Well, if that's the way you want to play it. All right, all right. Some witnesses are not as reliable as others. Particularly when they're former junkies like PC Klein. A junkie? Well, now, that is interesting. He works for the papers, sports journalist. Oh. And he helped us with this. Right. And he keeps asking me out. And? And nothing. And if he's not half bad looking, he's got plenty of money and a pulse. <gasps> Just kidding. About the pulse, I mean. I'm sorry, but Cupid's been very busy round Sun Hill Nick. Well, first Kerry, and now... But I'm serious. Life is for living. The only regrets I have are for the things I haven't done. You fancy him? You jump him. You're not supposed to understand English very well. Hello? Help me! Hello, is there someone there? Help! Help! Hello? Oh, 
Are you all right? What happened? Terry, yeah. where's Phil? I'm not sure, Gav. Finnegan's been spotted. Arrest team on its way. Good call of Phil's, eh? That Weaver connection. Yeah. Yeah, he certainly pulled that one out of the hat, didn't he? An invitation? Yeah. Cameron's whisking her off to some country house hotel. Oh, it sounds lovely. You think so? What? Carrie's worried that Cameron's too nice, too safe a bet. I don't know. Maybe she likes a bit of rough. <laughs> I'm PC Hemingway. I know you can both speak English because Hans had told us. Marco! I'll get him. Right, come on, you. On your feet. I'll see what Nigel has to say about this. Sarge, have you heard about James? You know the Rastafarian? No. The black community's up in arms, saying that you didn't respect his faith. Me? Insisting he gave a blood sample against his religion. I didn't insist. He refused. And as there was no medical reason why he couldn't give blood, I charged him. End of story. Well, all I know is Jerome Taylor's taken up the case. The black activist. Oh, that clown. Oh, good luck to him. Mr. Morrison, you'll be glad to know that the Sobek brothers have been safely locked up. They can't harm you anymore. Sending the vermin home? Oh, afraid not. We can't do that straight away. More's the pity. No doubt they'll be scrounging off the state like the rest of them. No, 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 no. They're helping us with our inquiries. Remember these? It's racially offensive material. If you say so. And I believe that this is what triggered the fight off in the pub last night, wasn't it? We have three witnesses who say that they saw you distributing it at the Lord Banbury pub last night. And that is what I am arresting you for. You do not have to say anything, but anything you do say... Hey, Tony. Is that for Sergeant Murphy? Yeah. It's a hand-painted bowl thing. You cannot give it to her like that. It looks like it fell off the back of a truck. I feel all right once I've wrapped it. Give it to me. Is Hunter OK? Yeah, I think they're going to send him home as soon as possible. His brothers are giving us a statement about Nigel's little leafleting campaign. Mm. <laughs> What's so funny, Yvonne? Nothing. You know, it's just a weekend, OK? I'm not marrying the guy. Hey. Was that? Yeah, thanks. I feel like I celebrate. Oh, come on, Polly. What more does a bloke have to do? I'll tell you what. Cavemen had it easier. Bash on the head and then straight off to the nearest cave. <gasps> That's my case. Don't worry, when you get to the hotel, you have a couple of pink gins, it'll all be forgotten. Hey! Hey! <laughs> right, time. We are done. Thanks, Cameron. <laughs> Hi, Gary. Afraid it's about something tonight, okay? No worries. <laughs> oh, uh, some people can't take a joke. All I did was suggest that Cameron might be gay. <laughs> you did. Yeah, what's wrong? He's not, is he? No. But Kira's husband was. She didn't find out until after the wedding. No. Oh! <laughs> That's very good. You nearly had me. I'm not kidding. Polly! Sarge. The Hansa case. A good result. And I know you had more than a hand in it. Well, I was just trying to help Sarge. I know, and you did. Thanks, Sarge. Thank <laughs> you. 
sorry about those things I said about oh, Cameron, you know. Oh. I'm not going to let what happened with your ex spoil things with you and Cameron. Look, you've got to admit, it was a bit over the top. Yeah, the limo thing was a bit cheesy. But at least he's trying, which is more than you can say for most blokes. I mean, come on, treat you like a princess. Got a body like that. And you're turning it down. Okay, I thought you might be avoiding me. Yeah, no, look, I'm sorry about last night if I wasn't, you know. But don't worry about it. But this weekend, I'm really looking forward to this weekend away. Good, good, me too. And I'll make it up to you, I promise. Excuse me. Hello, Mr. Cameron. Hello, Mr. Cameron. Hello, I'll catch you after the shift. Hmm. You can wait that long? Hmm. <laughs> Yeah, gave up without a fight. Doesn't look too happy, does it? That's what he gives his weaver. Yeah. Either way, Nick's gonna breathe easier tonight with him off the streets. On the bill. Murder investigation need this ID. Otherwise Finnegan walks. Giving blood is against the Rastafarian religion. As is the consumption of alcohol. So far you've been nothing but a white world pain in the ass. Just for a minute there, Phil, I actually thought you were worried about Nick. 